What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and this is my 17th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the M249 Para light machine gun. But before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the M249. The country of origin is Belgium. The rate of fire is 550 rounds per minute. The magazine is 100 rounds of box fed ammo. The fire type is full auto only, and the reload speed is 5.50 seconds. Entering service in 1984, the M249 is the American adaption of the Belgian FN Menimi, a light machine gun manufactured by Fabrique Nationale de Herstal, or FN for short. Shooting the same 5.56 by 45 mm NATO rounds as most automatic weapons used by riflemen and capable of using both linked ammo and Stanag magazines, the M249 can use a rifleman's magazine as an emergency source of ammo in the event that it runs out of linked rounds. In addition, the M249 features a quick change barrel, allowing the gunner to rapidly replace the overheated or jammed barrel. At 41 inches, or almost 3.5 feet in length, and weighing 17 pounds dry, or 22 pounds including a 200 round belt and plastic ammo box, the M249 is a cumbersome weapon that is best used when deployed in a stationary position using either the bipod or optional tripod. The Para version is a compact variant with a shorter barrel and sliding aluminum buttstock and intended for use by airborne troops. The para version shaves almost 5 inches off the normal length and is slightly lighter by about a pound. For the footage seen in this video, I purchased a high-end blueprint and crafted my Uber M249 Para. As with all LMGs, the initial kick or recoil of the weapon once you begin full auto firing is severe and is something you will need to become accustomed to. The trick to using LMGs in the division is to stay away from pop firing and instead use their massive ammo counts, punishing damage figures and strong medium range game to either suppress enemies or chip away at them from a safe distance. Staying full auto is best how to use this animal, as once the initial recoil is over, it stays true to target and can deliver what seems like a never ending barrage of bullets down range. For those of you taking on the daily challenge missions, I would seriously recommend this weapon for its ability to wear down elites using blind fire before they rush your position and one-shot you with those OP shotguns. My recommended mods for the M249 would zero in on grip and barrel attachments and more specifically anything that has an initial shot recoil reduction or to enhance your overall full auto stability. I'm going to rate the M249 Para a strong 4 out of 5 stars. I crafted the M249 high end to replace my superior M60 and initially I was not impressed with the full auto fire as the first shot recoil and overall stability is on the wild side. However, once I added some stability mods and focused in on first shot recoil reduction, the M249 started to grow on me. Although not as stable as the M60, but with a slightly higher fire rate, the M249 is a formidable weapon versus elites, and do not underestimate how much damage it can put on slower moving enemies using blind fire. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs, or love, this has been your boy Buzz saying peace.